All right. Uh, it's been a great year uh, over the course of the year, going from maybe here to way up here. So, yeah, it, being the leader of this team, that you're being a pride, you know, like you, you watch this bear and grow. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's a good way to put it. Uh, as the season goes on, you become more and more tight knit and you spend more time together. And, uh, um, you know, you battle for each other all year. And then uh, um, the end of the season, you hope that uh, as a group, you guys come together and you're able to accomplish things that we accomplished this year. So um, uh, really special and really proud of this, this group here, this team. And uh, um, it was a pleasure. At the start of the year, we've got four teenagers in the starting line. What are we going to do with it? And so, are you surprised at how far you went? I wouldn't say surprised because, uh, you know, this is a goal every year is to become better players and make the young guys better to ultimately help the team have success. Like, um, so, uh, but you never know how that's going to work out, right? And that's, uh, for me, that's probably the, one of the most fun things about this playing hockey in general is uh, um, you don't know what the result's going to be, but you try to give yourself the best chance to get there every year. And uh, um, uh, everybody kind of bought into that, just stay in the process and becoming better hockey players. And by the end of the season, uh, young guys and old guys, you know, became better players and we gelled as a team. We were able to have some success in the playoffs. All the accolades about the young players, but the I hate using the term older. Older, that's the older guys. Right, you, know. you got to label us on. Yeah, the, the leaders. Uh, I don't think got nearly the credit they deserve yourself and Malone and Murray and Powell and Pilot and uh, the leadership group really played extremely well on the ice. Well. Yeah, I did. I, I thought. Uh, um, it, everybody really rose their game for the playoffs, uh, especially. And, uh, you know, guys go through different things throughout the year and uh, um, highs and lows and, you know, struggles and you have success and during the regular season and, you know, guys want to be in the NHL and they're trying to get there. And, and, and then when playoffs hit, you got to reset. And uh, I felt like our whole team was kind of thought of it um, we never really talked about this, but just kind of the the demeanor was, all right, new season here, like whatever happened during the regular season happened, like time to bring it now. And um, everybody bought into that. And like you said, you know, um, guys had great playoffs and, uh, um, you know, Yops too, he had unbelievable playoffs. And just those types of guys that um, um, kind of insulate those younger guys, they, uh, um, we're able to take a step up and had success, and then it allows um, some of the um, other players, whether they're younger or older, to have success as well. We've been around for a lot of few different teams, and, and uh, with this team we talked about this year, pretty much two, two of the men, they all talk about what a special group this is. Yeah, yeah the bond of this team. Is this one better team to be Yeah, I think so. It's, uh, when you, uh, when you're able to go far on runs like this and uh, you know, win big games like Game 5 in Syracuse or um, win, win hard playoff rounds or, or whatever those things are, score a big goal for your teammates. Or, it just kind of, um, you create those types of memories that are um, you can't manufacture. So. I would say so. Every year has got a different, uh, um, different feel to it. Different, uh, a blend of teammates. But uh, you know, this is up there with the best of them for me. Outstanding year. You played great. How do you feel about your own game? Yeah, I felt it was solid. You know, it. it um, like I said, there's, uh, uh, you know, highs and lows throughout a regular season, and there's struggles, and then there's sometimes we have success and. Sometimes you're having success, but it doesn't feel like you're having success. So uh, for me, I just love uh, being able to stick to the process and um, uh, just, you know, 
stick to that daily thing, whether you're having success or not, it's all about that, that grind, and that's what I love about playing this game. Maybe a few days off here? Yeah, uh, it hasn't really hit me yet because you're still around the guys, you're coming to the rink here, and uh, but once I get home, it'll be uh, it'll probably hit me and I'll be able to look back at this thing as a whole because right now it's just so, uh, uh, it just seems like it's so like, I don't know the right word it is for that, but um, it's still like right in front of you still. And um, so when I take a, get a chance to take a step back, I'm sure I'll be able to appreciate everything that we did as a team this year. Great job. Outstanding. You're yeah. a tremendous leader. We're sure lucky to have you. So. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. Yeah. Go ahead, Rachel. What was it like to lead this team this year? Obviously, you are an experienced leader, but everybody keeps calling this group a special group. When you reflect, what was it like to lead them every step of the way? Well, uh, you know, last year I was kind of, you know, learned from the people that I uh, um, had as captains before me and, you know, rely on the staff and, um, you know, because they set the bar and then I just try to follow it. And uh, um, this year, last year I felt like, uh, uh, you know, I didn't want to compare it year to year, but like from a leadership standpoint, uh, try to learn from things that you maybe did or didn't do. And I thought, I think last year I, I put a lot of emphasis, I emphasized and put a lot of thought into what I was doing to make sure it was the right thing. And I felt this year was just kind of natural to me. I could just kind of be myself. And um, I think a lot of those traits that I tried to develop last year just kind of filtered over in this year. And um, I was myself, but uh, wouldn't be able to do it without, you know, having Prowl and Malone, first of all. And then, uh, uh, you know, when those, those guys are injured or out and not on the ice. You have Murr stepping up and uh, Brendan Warren and uh, Yoffs and Barkowski and Subi and I was there. Like, we had so many guys that had just like took ownership of this team and uh, um, it definitely lightens the load on, on me. And uh, you know, I'm just very thankful to have those guys. So, uh, yeah. And in that experience, you know, it seems like the effort gives you guys a lot of trust to kind of self-govern in that aspect. What is that like to have? I know Appert says he's never been a player. He was always a coach. So from that experience, he relies on you guys to bring that to the table. But looking back, how did that relationship kind of benefit your ability to step into that leadership maybe more deeply? Well, I think uh, uh, when you have – uh, a staff that allows the players to self-govern, like you mentioned, or ha take ownership of the team. Uh, um, it gives them more responsibility, and and they feel that responsi responsibility to to do the right things and uh, um, take care of your teammates and lead by example. And um, uh, one, I'm really thankful that those guys took ownership and bought in, but. Um, uh, one did the right things for their teammates. So, uh, um, and then it just, you know, it, it lightens the load on me too. So, um, yeah, he does let us take ownership a little bit. And I think that helps us uh, um, um, guys make the right decisions at the right times and, you know, take ownership on the ice and play hard for each other. And, uh, you know, all that stuff kind of adds up and blends and helps create culture.